What exactly do you do after you become the richest man in the world? With everything you could wish for in your reach, what do you hope to achieve next? You might have a different idea to go with, but Elon Musk knows exactly where he's headed, and he's going to take us with him. By the end of this decade, Elon Musk has planned to colonize the human race on Mars. And in today's video, we will be discussing Elon's plan and how he's going to execute it over the next few years. The very first instance when Musk talked about colonizing Mars was at the International Astronautical Congress in September 2016, when he said that, if things go super well, landing people on Mars might be kind of in the 10-year time frame. Even after such a claim, he told people not to get ahead of themselves as there's still a huge amount of risk. But after all, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. And fast forward to the start of 2021, the plan seems to be well on track, as Elon says that it is a very achievable goal six years from now, if we get lucky, maybe four years, he added. Plus, this may not be as simple as it sounds, as key to Mission Mars is the development of SpaceX's Starship rocket, a stainless steel rocket ship that can carry as many as 100 people in a single trip along with cargo. A prototype version of Starship, known as Starhopper, was used for static testing from April to August of 2019. Project Starship has certainly been SpaceX's focus for quite some time now, as they have carried out several altitude tests with the rocket ship. Which now brings us to our next topic of concern. Why Mars? Why not another planet? Well, there are several reasons for this. First and foremost, the soil of Mars contains water that can be extracted, the temperature isn't too hot or too cold, and the gravity of Mars is 38% that of the Earth which many scientists believe to be suitable for the human body to adapt to. But the major obstacle faced in colonizing Mars is the absence of oxygen. Mars is 95% saturated with carbon dioxide and contains no free oxygen, a significant obstacle to creating a self-sustaining city on Mars. Ticking most of the boxes, scientists agree that Mars is the second most suitable planet to sustain human life after Earth. Musk plans to build a crewed base on Mars for an extended surface presence, hoping to grow into a self-sufficient colony. The first round of successful colonization will lead to more parties becoming involved, be it individuals, companies, or governments around the world. It's not just about getting there, but settling down itself will be a highly tedious task. Musk said in October 2017, our goal is to get you there and ensure the basic infrastructure for propellant production and survival is in place. As we speak about settlement and colonization, Elon is focusing on lower transport costs too. While the initial SpaceX Mars settlement would start very small, with an initial group of about a dozen people, Musk hopes that the number will increase with time. He has expected around 1 million people to settle on Mars as long as they become self-sustaining. Who knows how big this number could propel if things go as smoothly as planned. Excluding organic growth, if you could take 100 people at a time, you would need 10,000 trips to get a million people, but you would also need a lot of cargo to support those people. In fact, your cargo to person ratio is going to be quite high. It would probably be 10 cargo trips for every human trip, so more like 100,000 trips. And we're talking 100,000 trips of a giant spaceship. Starting cost for each person could be as high as 500,000 US dollars but long-term prices might fall to $200,000 US dollars. And speaking of costs, the entire project is funded by SpaceX. Musk stated that the US government doesn't have the kind of budget in their space program to colonize a new planet, hence why Musk started his own private company and is pouring in his own wealth into this. Whenever Elon Musk believes in something, he makes sure he puts lots of his own time, money, and effort into the task. Overall, he sees this as a good opportunity to attract the private sector towards a lucrative business environment. The entire project is made possible only due to SpaceX's multifaceted approach focusing on the reduction of launch costs. Coming back to Elon's vision and aim, he created SpaceX with one goal in mind, to help the human race become a multi-planet species. This could be a hint that if Mission Mars is successful, this project could extend to even more planets. Of course, if other planets are habitable and the human race can survive on other planets in our galaxy. In 2020, when Musk won the Axel Springer Award while receiving the recognition, he said that he wants to die on Mars. Just not on impact, he joked. Slowly but surely, Elon believes that his ideas will come to fruition as he stated that by 2050, a million people would be residing on Mars. 
Such an enormous task is impossible to be done single-handedly, which is why the website of SpaceX has countless job openings very frequently, ranging from aeronautical engineers to R&D heads. Hence, he promises to select the most competent lot to fit for this task. Whatever is going on inside the head of Elon Musk, none of us fully know it yet. But the founder of SpaceX, Tesla, and Neuralink feels that time until we head off to Mars isn't far away. The countless plans and the billions of dollars being invested into this project truly make it seem a task that has never been dared to try before. But scooping up a chunk of Earth's population and shifting it to an entirely new habitat will make people question whether he's a genius or a madman. Even if there is little hope that a better surrounding exists for us, we shouldn't shy away from grabbing the opportunity with both hands. And once Musk seizes the opportunity, there is no saying how far he can take us. Lifting us off Earth might be the start of a beautiful story never told before in humankind's history, and Mars might be the perfect opening chapter one could think of. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos just like this every week.